Okay, this is a random battle that I had on my Fletcher. Um, I'm divved up with one of my clan mates and Kexi from uh, Kraken. Uh, we're top tier in this battle, so we should have decent influence. Um, unfortunately for me, however, there are two Missouris on the enemy team, and those are definitely going to give me some trouble. Um, so I chose to um, do a replay commentary of this match because a lot of the times uh, playing DD is very reactionary. Like you see an enemy push and you go in front of it, you blunt their push. Or you see um, the enemy battleship is like unprotected, he's kind of alone, doesn't have a DD screen, you can go torp him. Um, in this case, um, I am playing a lot more aggressive because we start off with a heavy ship disadvantage and I do that because if I don't um, act on my window of opportunity just at certain times then I think um, I would have lost the game. This kind of shows how if the windows of opportunity don't come to you you can kind of make them happen if that makes any sense. Uh, first thing I do is go for B. Since I am top dog uh, in this match, I can outspot both the Ognivoy and the Sims, and the Yugimo does not really pose a gun threat to me. So I'm going pretty aggressive into B, even though I don't have too much support. Um, in a sense, this is, could be kind of like, uh, I guess, the counterpart to my Sims video, which is like what to do uh, when you're a bottom tier ship. Like when you're a bottom tier ship and you're a really weak ship in a nasty matchup, you have to wait for the opportunities to come to yourself. Um, because if you don't, you just die. You throw away your ship. But when you're top tier uh, in a matchup such as this, it doesn't matter if your team is just actively trying to throw as hard as they can. You can force the opportunities um, to come by playing aggressively and uh, using the advantages that your ship has over uh, a lot of the other ships in the field. So I noticed that the enemies are pushing it pretty hard into C. So I think after I take B, I'm going to head in that direction. I get B completely uncontested. Which is nice. Okay, so we lose our first destroyer almost for free, which is bad, and our Fiji is dying. Which is also very bad. Um, so immediately we're just down two ships right off the bat. Uh, and they're getting control of A, and they're also getting control of C. So just immediately right off the bat, this is, if nobody does anything drastic, this game is going to be a loss. Uh, luckily, however, we are going to get their Missouri. Seems like he pushed up a little bit far. But uh, again, just based on positioning and not to, uh, not to mention the fact that there's a dead Pensacola. Uh, also, we just lost another cruiser. Um, I know I have to do something drastic, because if I just wait for the opportunities to come to me, like I did in my Sims video, um, we are going to lose this game. The window of opportunity for carrying in this game is definitely small, and it has to happen very, very soon, or else um, they're just going to steamroll us. So here's what I do. I notice the last spotted position um, for the DD on the enemy team, um, and I suspect that he's still going to be close to his smoke when um, when it wears out. And I don't fire my torpedoes because I know his smoke's going to run out. And right there, there he is. I catch him out. He was not expecting to be spotted. He thought, you know, his smoke would wear out, and he could just back away completely undetected. But since I was there, I'm spotting him. He's completely screwed. So we take one DD back. Blown up. 
And I'm going to play around this island because I know there's a Missouri on the other side. I don't want to get caught out. Like If he preemptively radars, I can just tuck in behind the island and be okay. If I make a move to go out... Oh, I'm actually spotted again. And there's the Ognivoy. I guess he just wasn't aware that I was here or something like that. Because, again, he gets caught out super hard. And he actually manages to beach himself. I don't know why he didn't immediately smoke. Maybe he already used it. I predicted that the torps were coming, so I moved um, further away. And right now I see a great opportunity. There's a Missouri right there, 3.5 kilometers away. And he probably doesn't think I have the balls to go around and do this. Or to come around and torp him. Uh, I think he's probably just tunnel visioning a little bit on the... Uh, on our guys at um, the south of sea. So I'm gonna come around and torp him. Like these are the kind of big plays that can turn around games um, before the enemy team gets a chance to steamroll. And I actually screw up quite a bit here. Um, luckily for me this Missouri's completely toast. I definitely screw up a bit. Um, with hitting the island, I had to blow a smoke basically for nothing. Uh, North Carolina. Over there. Um, since I have nothing else to shoot at, I might as well just see if I can light a fire or something. That's fire. I think I kind of just want to stay around here until I get more vision of what's over there. And that's when I notice an AFK Miyoko. Hmm. This is definitely very promising. Um, we're about to lose our own Miyoko, so... Um, it's only right that, you know, I send a couple of torps this guy's way. The torps are up. And just in case Torp RNG somehow manages to screw me through that, uh, I do launch both sets. All stations, reporting the position of a strategic target. He's still AFK, so I know those are going to hit. And what I want to do is I want to ambush the NC. Coming around this island. My torps are up in 27 seconds. Uh, unfortunately, my division mate um, over on the left is definitely in some pretty big trouble. Um, but I tell him that since I have torps coming up in, you know, 10 seconds, uh, originally he wants to ram. Because that would actually work out for a net gain HP for our team. Because he's low and the NC really isn't. But I tell him to dodge the ram because I know I can ambush this guy. I really make sure that these torps hit. I really, really don't want to miss. So I just hold on to them just for an extra second to make sure he isn't making any drastic maneuvers. And he's dead. Uh, now I start opening up on this Pensacola. Which is just completely not even focused on me, so I'm just going to try to DPM him down. Uh, and I figure he's just completely dead, because my division mate um, in the Missouri has pretty good aim. So I figure he's just dead next salvo. So um, what I do here is I actually turn back in to get all my guns on target, just do a little bit more damage, right? But uh, unfortunately, he doesn't die. Uh, I think Discrusion kind of screwed my uh, battleship uh, division mate. So now I'm turned in, 
and the Pensacola has guns on me at six kilometers. And I figure it's a Pensacola, he'll die for the next salvo. And um, you know, he gets overpens, or he gets overpend a lot. No citadels, no normal pens. Uh, and I don't want to blow a smoke because he's only on 549 hit points. But you know, finally he's dead. Um, that was actually that potentially could have been. Well, I mean, uh, just that thing overall was really, really bad. I should have been a little bit less careless. Uh, I should have just been kiting away the whole time, and he wouldn't have been able to basically land uh, any shells on me. Um, I just think I just got a little bit greedy, because I figured he was completely dead, and he just wasn't, so. Uh, game's still pretty close. They're up caps, but we're up one ship. And um, since we need to take cap pressure off our team, uh, I'm headed straight to sea cap. That was just a complete waste of hit points, though. It was really, really, really stupid. It was a, a complete misplay. And uh, honestly, I'm lucky that didn't cost me the game. For example, if uh, I got into a gunfight with your Yugumo, and he was on full health and I was on 5,000, I very well could have lost that, even with my massive DPM advantage. Like if the gun uh, Yugimo had been like come came just charging around three kilometers away from around a corner or something, I wouldn't really have an answer to that um, because I'm on such low health. Unfortunately, our uh, Nizenau loses the Nizenau fight. Enemy hippers right there. He's almost dead. Um, again, we're down points, so I kind of want to help just DPM this dude down. And I notice he's about to beat, so I just hold my fire. And uh, this is actually the second part where I derp up. Um, I did. I did not realize I was accelerating. Um, so <laughs> I poke out of C cap like literally a second one game tick before I capture it I thought I would have captured it by now so that was um, that was a little embarrassing so you guys get to see that you know <laughs> I didn't say this was a flawless game I do make um, a decent amount of mistakes the first one or the first or the two notable ones being um, me derping against the Pensacola because I thought he was just dead uh, next salvo and then also um, sliding out a cap. Luckily, this game wasn't any closer, because that, again, could have been kind of bad. So, I'm going to open up on the FDG, since his guns aren't facing towards me at all. Uh, and I also want to take the pressure off of other ships, because I know that FDG's going to have a really, really hard time hitting me from this range. I under lead a little bit, so I give some more lead. Um, and... I think I'm trying to save my division mate um, here by shooting at the FDG and hoping that uh, the FDG just points guns at me and not him. Capture C. Unfortunately, I was not spotted at any time. Um, even though I kind of wanted to get spotted to take heat off of my um, my division mate. Or I don't think the FDG would have actually focused um, focused me over my division mate at that point because he was so close. Um, now, since he's burning, I just back off because I don't want to risk um, getting deleted by a very lucky salvo. Uh, or 
you know, taking like a, a full pen from the back or something like that. That's never fun. Uh, and I'd really, really hate to throw this game right now, so I'm just gonna hold my fire. Uh, I really would have liked to help my, my DM Donskoy division made a little bit more, but I just wasn't in a position to do so. Um, because I completely derped up um, capping C the first time, and I slid out of it, um, I had to recap it because it's really, really important that we take the cap, so I couldn't really get over to him in time. And I'm going to try to land some shells in the Yugamo. Um... But it looks like before they can get there, a uh, battleship finishes the job. Um, so, I think the really the key moment in that battle um, that kind of determined the difference between um, win or loss uh, was me putting myself uh, basically right um, right on top of C cap um, from the middle part of the map, just going there and kind of um, being in that very aggressive position because I was able to catch out both their Sims and their Ognavoy and also completely trash their Missouri. Um, and that definitely turned it around. So when you're in a top tier destroyer, um, or just in a top tier ship in general, and you know you see your teams just losing really poorly off the bat, sometimes it can be definitely be worth it to make a really risky, aggressive play. Um, because if the risk doesn't really pay off and you get caught out and die. I mean, you're going to lose the game anyway, right? At that point, you might as well just. Um, so, yeah.